Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I want to show you some tips and tricks that you can use with your calculator. So it's something I see, it's not something I often see. A lot of students don't seem to know this, but it's super, super helpful to solve quadratics. So you'll see we got this quadratic above, uh, it's a trinomial. So we can solve for trinomials in two main ways. So often we solve using factorization. And in other ways, we can use that monstrosity of equation on the top right. It's a quadratic equation. So the, the tip or trick I'm going to show you, well, the method I'm going to show you on the calculator, it allows us to find the answers by just punching in three numbers. So it's really useful to test your answers or even find the answers, like I said. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how we can solve this trinomial by factorization. So we find the factors of the coefficient of x squared. So let's work with three and three first. And then the factors of five is only five and one because five is prime. So if we roll with this and we cross multiply, you might use some other methods for factorization. So if this seems a bit confusing for you, don't worry. But if we do this, cross multiply, we get 15. Multiply there, we get three. So that's obviously not going to work for us because that's not going to be fruitful. There's no ways we can get four. So if we try factors nine and one, if we do that and we put the five up here and the one down here, if we cross multiply, we're going to get nine down here and five at the top. And we need these to plus or minus and give us plus four. So we see this needs to be a plus and that needs to be a minus. So in between these two is going to be a minus there and a plus over there. So when we factorize this, we say 9x in a bracket minus 5. And over here, we can just have x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this 9 in the front came from here. And then that 5, the negative 5 just came from over there. So if we continue solving for this, we are going to get that x is equal to 5 over 9. Or x is equal to minus 1. So this one wasn't too bad to factorize, but sometimes they can get really annoying or they can, sometimes you're not sure and you want to check. So that's exactly what we can use the calculator for. First, let's do a quick bit of revision. This 9 in the front. So what, what is ever in front of the x squared, we call a, because our normal form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So we have this thing in the normal form and we see that this nine is a, this four is our b, and this whole thing, including the minus, is our c. Okay, so this is our a, this is a four, and this whole thing is our c. Sorry, I don't know why I said that's a four. It is indeed a four, but I meant to put b there. So we have all of that. So I'll write it first. We have a is equal to nine, b is equal to 4, and c, careful, negative 5, so the entire thing. So if I bring up our calculator here, first what we need to do is we're trying to solve an equation. So we go to mode, and you'll see number 5 there, it says eqn, that's for equation. So if we press 5, you'll see we get quite a few answers over there, and I'll go into some more depth into those other ones, but so I meant options rather. So we have quite a few options here. And the one we need is if you look at option three, option three is exactly what we have. It's in that trinomial format. So we press three. And if you see here, we have A, B, and C. So we just need to put in our, our coefficients of these terms. And we know what these are. These are the values we have down here. So for A, we put nine. We press equals. For B, we put equals. And then for five, very important, we put, sorry, for C, we put negative five. So remember that negative. So now we have this, we press equals, and you'll see that our answers are the exact same that we got for the trinomial, so earlier. So the first X solution is five over nine, and the other solution is minus one, just like we had before. So it's e easy as that. So you can use this to check, to solve. You can use it for a whole bunch of things. So I think it's super helpful. And not many students know it, so now you do, and I hope it can help.